All right, so we're in our second part of these lectures, and what I'd like to talk about now is this idea of matrix multiplication. So in the previous um, talk, what we defined was this matrix A, which could have maybe M rows by N columns, and then we defined what it meant for an A matrix to be equal to a B matrix, or what would happen if you took an A matrix and add it to a B matrix, or you took a, a scalar 2 times an A matrix. This stuff's all pretty straightforward because it ports directly over from our knowledge of vectors. So I can say that matrices are equal if they're of the same row or size, the number of rows and number of columns, and their elements, the elements inside these spreadsheets are the same. I can add them together if they're the same dimension, and I just add cell element to cell elements. And I can multiply a matrix by a scalar by um, just taking that number 2, let's say, and multiplying it into every cell. The one thing that is going to be different but similar to things we've seen in the past is this idea of multiplying two matrices together. So we start with a definition which says that um, if the matrix A is M rows by N columns and the matrix B is P rows by Q columns, then A times C, or A times B, is defined if, and only if, M is equal to, or sorry, N is equal to P, so the number of columns in the A matrix is equal to the number of rows in the B matrix. We'll see why that is in a second. Um, so, we'll also say and the matrix A times B is going to be a matrix that has M rows in Q columns, so the product picks up the remaining um, dimensions, the number of rows from the A matrix and the number of columns from the B matrix, such that the elements of AB, so the IJ element of AB is going to be the sum K equal 1 to N of A sub I, K, B sub K, J, where those come from the A and B matrix. Example, let's say I have the A matrix, which is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So A is in R two rows and three columns. And let's say the B matrix was in R two by three and looked like B was equal to one, two, zero, one, one, zero. Then A times B is defined, right? A times B is defined because the number of columns in the A matrix are equal to This is an error, right? 2 by 3, that's not right. I just wrote down a 3 row by 2 column matrix, and so these two numbers are the same. So the matrix multiplication is defined, and it is an element of 2 by 2 matrices with real entries, right? Now how do we find this? I'm going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's my A matrix. I'm going to get 1, 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. And so I'm going to multiply these matrices together, and I'm going to get a 2 by 2 matrix on the back side. Let's inspect this element right here, which would be um, AB sub first, second row, first column. Right, what would that be? Well... A, B, second row, first column is going to be defined by this, so I'm going to get the sum K equal 1 to N. In our case, N is the number of columns in the A matrix, so our N is 3. And 
and then I have little a, an element from the A matrix, sub i. Oh yeah, well I know my i. My i in this case is 2. k is going to be a count variable, which will scope from 1 to 3. And then I have b sub k j, but what is my j? My j is um, 1 in this case, so 1. If we write down this sum, this sum is going to look like a sub 2, 1, b sub 1, 1, plus a sub 2, 2, times b sub 2, 1, plus a sub 2, 3, times b sub 3, 1. And so, if I write this out, a sub 2, 1 is going to be second row, first column, that's a 4, times a 1, plus an a sub 2, 2, that's 5, second row, second column, times an a sub 2, 1, second row, first column from b, which is a 0, plus... 6, which is the second row, third column, plus third row, first column. Okay, so it's going to be a 4 plus a 0 plus a 6, that's a 10. So this element right here is a 10. What we want to notice at this point is that I'm taking this certain elements from the A matrix and certain elements from the B matrix, and I'm getting a scalar out of it. Notice that I'm always grabbing here from the second row of the A matrix. So it would be all these guys. All right, and then I'm always grabbing from the first column of the B matrix, which would be this. The reason why I bring this up is that we want to notice that the vector 4, 5, and 6, which is this brown vector, the second row of A, and the vector 1, 0, 1. These are both three vectors, right? Vectors in three space. And there is an operation that I can do between the two that will bring back a scalar, and exactly the scalar 10. And so that is a dot product between the two vectors. What we learn from this, then, is that... This is that the ij component of AB is the ith row of A dotted into the bth column of, or sorry, the jth column of B. So that is the definition of matrix product. Matrix, matrix products are built off of dot products. And so in that way, I'm not really defining um, anything terribly new. I'm just using this dot product to define um, this new matrix product. I mean, I guess I lie because there is something that's a little bit new from it. But let's first calculate the rest of these. This will be the first row and the first column of this new matrix, AB. And so that should be the first row of A dotted into the first column of B. So that's a 1 times a 1, plus a 2 times a 0, plus a 1 times a 3. So that number should be 4. And then this is the first row, second column of the AB matrix. So that's a first row of A dotted into the second column of B, which is a 1 times 2, plus a 2 times 1. So that's a 4, plus a nothing. So that's another 4. And then this last one is the second row, second column. So it's the second row of A dotted into the second column. So that's an 8 plus a 5, which is a 13 plus a nothing. So that's a 13. Great. Some interesting notes here. Well, what can we see? We can see that. Note, B 
times A is defined. And B times A is going to be an element of R 3 by 3, right? So B onto A is defined. There are two columns in the B matrix. So there are two columns in this B matrix, and there are two rows in this A matrix. So I could flip the order, but then I'd get a 3x3. Three three. But since I got a 3x3, three three, that could never possibly equal a 2x2. Two two. And we see that A times B does not, in general, equal B times A. And so matrix multiplication, when you find through the dot product in this way, will break on the commutivity of the matrix product. So we're defining algebra, and the next thing I would think to do with this, with this scheme is to define a multiplicative inverse. Which is to say there should be this number, which when used in matrix multiplication, um, does nothing to the, to the matrix that it operates on. And so, first we're going to let A be in R n by n, so we define it to have as many rows as columns, this is the diagonal case. Then the problem gets more difficult if you have rectangular matrices, which are m rows and n columns, because um, you have to start talking about things like left and right inverses. But then, if I define i in R n by n such that i is equal to a matrix, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, all the way out to 0 here, and then 0 all the way down, and then One's a, oh, that is a horrible way to write this. Let me read this. If we define this matrix I, which is called the identity, to have ones along the main diagonal and zeros everywhere else, we would find that this has the property A times I is equal to I times A, which is just equal to A. So this matrix does nothing to um, prop. Right. I times A will give you the same thing as A times I, and that is the A matrix, which is left unchanged. Right. So that is the multiplicative inverse. It acts like the number 1. And so... Let's do a quick example. Let's say, since we know we're going to work with 2 by 2s, let's say A is equal to A, B, C, and D. Then, A, let's write that again, A, B, C, D times this identity matrix is equal to A times 1 plus B times 0, so that's A. A times 0 plus B times 1, so that's B c times 1 plus d times 0, that's c, c times 0 plus d times 1, that's d, which is the original A matrix. Okay, so that is the notion of a multiplicative inverse. In the next video, what we'll talk about is why it was useful to define matrix multiplication in this way.